God, where did I park? Yesterday was a shit show. Nobody panic. I am actually wearing a hat. So what's up everybody? Very sorry about yesterday. I got incredibly behind yesterday. It was really, really hard to recover. One of those sort of cascading avalanche disasters as the day went on. I had actually another video project for something unrelated to the vlog. I got really caught up in the morning with it. Didn't, I got to bed late. I got up late. I got completely behind on my schedule yesterday. At that point, it was like, I was missing a whole bunch of footage that I needed. It was pretty much like full stop at that point. Gonna hit the road and uh, get home, get everything taken care care of get ready to start the day all over again I just feel like I look so stupid in hats hello well good morning everybody hi it's okay good bird come on up hello hi. Mr. well hi it's Baba I got a little over a week until I am heading back to Northwest Indiana. First of all, I still plan to be doing the daily vlogs while I'm in Indiana. It, in, in a strange way, I think that it would be great to be able to capture a video of my hometown um, just to kind of document the trip. I, I'm planning on packing the drone as well. Unfortunately, I will not have access to a motorcycle and I will not have access to a cool car. So just be forewarned that Motorsports wise, this isn't gonna be very exciting, but I will do my best to bring you some entertaining and very visually appealing vlogs. It's time for me to hit the hay to go to bed. Head to bed, wake up, gym, and then uh, back to work for my Friday, and then the weekend begins. All right, just getting up for work. It's almost uh, almost four o'clock. I'm uh, running a little bit late, <laughs> naturally. Um, I tried sneaking in some extra sleep by an extra half hour. Uh, I definitely needed it, but uh, we're running a little bit behind, so I'm just getting my stuff packed up and ready to go here. Can I give you a scratch? Can I give you a scratch? Let's go! So how is it that this place is a madhouse on Monday and they're like, where is everybody today? Got all the hardcore people here today. See you guys later. Bye bye. Have a good day. Bye, bye. bye Rush. Bye. bye, Rush. Good workout today. I'm running a little late. It's just like the whole week has been this way. It's just been late, late, late. So we're gonna go in. We're gonna get this work day knocked out, and then uh, get the weekend started. And we got some. I think we got some good stuff coming up this weekend. So everybody, just hang tight. So my buddy Logan, somebody that I actually work with, uh, recently did an upgrade on his, uh, what, is, what, is, what is this, uh, this, is, this is a Jetta, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a, a Super Golf. It's a Super, it's a Super Golf? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a 2015 Volkswagen GTI. Yeah. With the suspension delete. With its complete suspension delete, and it's got a uh, full air ride suspension on it, so. Something wrong with this car. Look at that, look at that, I can't even get, I can't even get fingers up in there. So, uh, the suspension delete works by pressing this button. 
you can set presets. That's my daily ride height. That's a slam preset. Uh, you can manually adjust right here. Uh, you can set uh, automatically turn up, you know, automatically rise on start, automatically air out on off. It is uh, really, really fucking cool. Get the fuck out. Just little by little. And ladies go crazy. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, sometimes there's things that happen to me that uh, kind of make me feel like I'm an old fuddy-duddy. I had a, a YouTuber who reached out to me and uh, hit me up because he's got a contest with a buddy of his and they, you know, he's trying to get to a thousand subs before the end of the month and was like, hey man, can I, uh, can I get a shout out? Or can I do a collaboration or anything like that? You and I have a trust and that is you trust that if I come to you and say, hey, there's this channel that does this thing and I really think you should check this channel out. That trust is, is that this channel is actually something that may be worth your time or that I legitimately think that it's a channel that you might be interested in. And it's not to say that this isn't the case in this particular situation, but all I'm saying is, is if that's gonna be the case, chances are I'm not gonna do a shout out because someone asked me. I'm gonna do it because it's something I found and I just wanted people to know about it. In other words, the shout outs that are unsolicited are the ones that are the most genuine and therefore the ones that are most trustworthy. What I did was, is I wrote up a huge list of stuff after looking through this kid's channel and basically gave him bullet point by bullet point on things that I felt like he could do. The old fuddy-duddy aspect is at some point in the message I mentioned that a shout out for the sake of a shout out really in the long scheme of things doesn't do anything to help him because it's akin to fishing for a man for a day. He might be full today but tomorrow he's still going to starve. Simply getting subscribers because someone funneled people to you doesn't do anything if they're not going to watch your stuff and most certainly if you didn't earn your way. I'm thinking, I'm reading through this message and I'm typing out the whole, you gotta go out and earn your way through, you can't just have it given to you, and this is how you do it, and you do it through hard work. And I was like, you know, this is the kind of stuff that you hear adults say, and I was like, oh, God, I am one.